ruling land, that's where you're bound. Nobody makes nice up there in paradise. When you get up there, then you get down. And the angels have ashtrays in heaven. St. Peter puffs on a cigar. That's right, smoking's allowed. It's what makes all those clowns. <laughs> you don't have to sit in the bar. It's gonna be great. When we're dead. Something to look forward to. Cream is free. It comes in a pint, quarter of fat. It's just one big orgy in heaven. <laughs> Nobody ever says no. It's front, sideways, back, and you start to lose track, but you don't lose your get up and go. There'll be lots of drinking in heaven, smoking and eating and sex. Life bad for you will be like In heaven there'll be beer for breakfast And lunch is sambuca The gazpacho with dinner Is made with paint thinner In the morning here Love and love 
seen the family photos and the man's a mystery. Died in 1942, age 43. My grandmother was a widow and my father was his son. First loud. They say he was an SOB who liked to smoke and drink. In the photos, he looks handsome. Trapped is what I say. And it's one of him in uniform, and it must be World War One. They say he was an expert sailor. And could handle a shotgun Wedding portrait posing with his young bride. His right hand hidden by her bouquet. His left hanging in his side. Closed in a kind of half fist. Unsure what he just done. Facing his short future. Like he could hit someone. It was elbows off the table. Before the meal begun, but it's his hands I recognize. Gave them to his son, whose own hands held and touched me, ruffled up my hair. I recognize that half fist.
Now, some decisions, drawing up a living will, let's say, or picking a headstone, for instance, really should be done in advance. And one's memorial service is certainly a once in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> so, why leave it to others to make the important choices? You always hear people say, oh, he would have hated that. <laughs> or, I'll bet she's turning over in her grave right now. That's not good. <laughs> so tonight, I decided to share some of my thoughts on the matter while I'm still here, so to speak. These are not so much last wishes as just a few helpful preemptive guidelines. I know they're all pretty busy these days, but I sure hope my kids can come. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to constantly forget my birthday or disregard umpteen text messages, but it would be a bit weird, kind of ridiculously passive-aggressive for them to just opt out of my memorial service. <laughs> yes, I know it's all about remembering, but can't there also be a little forgiving and forgetting at this point? Or how about some plain old, Dad's dead, let's just get over it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, in addition to my progeny attending, it would be nice if their mother showed up too. <laughs> You know, I love the idea of my, my ex-wives sitting side by side and say the second or third row, holding hands, gently leaning against one another for support when they are overcome with emotion. Any tensions that had previously existed between the ex-wives will surely be relaxed and indeed eradicated by my tragic passing. Now, further back, uh, uh, you know, uh, from the wives, but liberally sprinkled throughout the room would be all my former girlfriends. <laughs> Ideally, these lovelies would be unobtrusively incognito, initially remaining on the periphery of the proceedings, though undoubtedly evoking whispers of, look at that terribly attractive sad woman be? <laughs> or, is that who I think it is? But after the speeches, videos, and songs, when friends and family are standing around, ooing and eyeing the displayed snapshots of, and photos of my childhood, youth, and vigorous middle age, <laughs> I imagine my old flames, perhaps emboldened by a glass of wine or two, might approach each other to introduce themselves. This may very well result in hugs, spontaneous expressions of sorrowful solidarity and shared loss. I love the thought of that kind of a tableau, and I sincerely hope that the wives and all the kids are friendly and forgiving toward the sad, repentant homewreckers. <laughs> Of course, you never know. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to fire regulations and venue capacity, my fans and the general public won't be able to attend the memorial itself, but I expect there will be a throng of stricken mourners gathered outside, lined up, circling the building. These, after all, were the people whose lives I touched the most. <laughs> Naturally, I'm concerned about what people will say about my work and my character, how it affected and inspired them in particular, and what it might mean for the world at large. <laughs> Presumably, there will be a plethora of funny and or moving anecdotes offered. That's nice, but you know, sometimes people can get a little overly effusive and maudlin at the podium. That could be a turn-off. <laughs> Short and sweet is always the way to go. In addition to songs, poems, and stories, some lovely, 
unobtrusive, instrumental music played softly during the service might be nice. That sad movement from Mahler's Fifth Symphony, for instance, or the Samuel Barber adagio they used at the end of the Elephant Man movie. <laughs> As for the weather, <laughs> a light drizzle would be appropriate. Something that will gently complement the sweet melancholy that my memorial will undoubtedly produce. An appropriately low barometric atmosphere for my bereft friends, family, exes, loved ones, and admirers as they leave the service and head homewards to resume their futile, humdrum, and now much emptier existences. Après moi. and pray. 
Be careful as a baby in the house And a baby will not be fooled It will think and do what it wants to Until you get to school Today is your birthday, and if the truth be 
told It has to be said We're both a bit older Yeah, your birthday But I want to be clear I love your mother That's why you're here Two were lovers before you got here. So don't forget that I knew her when love was the need to you and me. Love was the need to you and me. I knew you
song in C. <laughs> when I play piano, it's my key. If I was playing my guitar, I'd probably be in G. Chances are. But here's another song in C. With my favorite protagonist, me. A <laughs> man in the world out telling show. I sing all about it so you'll know. When the people in it break my heart, the man in the world can fall apart. And there's not a thing I can do Except to sing and sing to you Oh, there used to be a family Brother, sisters, father, mother and me We were living in a little home We're fending off the great unknown. But the great unknown had got inside. And what had been whole, it did divide. In the end, the father had to leave. When he did, the mother had to grieve. Start. It's when the world can fall apart And there's not a thing I can do Except to sing and see to you So I 
sang and sing to you. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a chase, it's a race, it's gonna scratch you, it's bound to catch you, so vacate your bed. If you don't, if you won't, it'll go through you, it's lying next to you, it's inside your head. It's a curse, it's a hearse, it's come to claim you, fall, spindle and man you, it's in your garage. It's a cloud, it's a shroud, it will unfold you, so do like I told you, get out of dodge. It's gonna tell you. It's gonna nail you, it will defeat you, it's gonna eat you, it's bound to smite you, it's gonna bite you, let me remind you, it's right behind you. <laughs> it's a bore, it's a whore, it won't reject you, but it will infect you, so leave it alone. It's a bog, it's a fog, a dog alongside you, it'll bury and hide you, you're just its ball. It's a bitch, it's a witch, it's got you in its headlights, it won't read you your rights, it'll take you away to the cell of smell, unlike any other, it's gonna smother you, you better pray. It will erode you, it will explode. It's gonna shrink you, it's gonna sink you, it will capsize you, it will surprise you, it's gonna drop you, it's gonna stop you. It's a sphinx, it's a jinx, it's a total stranger, you're in grave danger, the danger is in. It's a snake, a mistake, it's bound to happen, it sits on your lap and then it takes a shit. <laughs> it feasts on your entrails, it has your details. It's a crime, it's some slime, and a poisonous cup. It's a plot, it's a rot, it's a lie, it's a spy. You don't stand a chance, and your number is up. It's gonna do you. It's gonna screw you. It's gonna take you, it's gonna break you. It will deplete you, it will unsee you. It's gonna kill you. It's gonna steal you. How are we doing? I know, I know it's a school night. So I don't want to keep you folks up too late. But it, what do you want to hear? Anything? Ah, man, you can't cry. The swimming song. 1974. Summer I went and dry. I held my breath, I kicked my feet. I moved my arms around. Yeah, I moved my arms around. This summer I swam in a public place in a reservoir of boot. The latter I was in far more the former I wore my suit. This summer I did the backstroke, you know that's not all. I did the breaststroke and the butterfly and the old Australian country. I old Australian country. This summer I swam in a public place, a reservoir of the boot. But the latter I was informal, and the former I wore my suit. I wore my swimming suit. This summer I did swan dives, jack knives for you all. But once when you were looking, I did a cannonball. I did a cannonball!
hardly alive. <laughs> it's a number that's waiting. In five years, you'll be 80. Poised way up there on the high diving board. Tell me how old it is. Though we all thought she'd get a bit more Time you get what you get Why get upset? And we all want just a little bit more Time that is I made it to the And my dad, he kicked 62. Way too young. But then what can you do when one's number is up? There is no prenup. Type agreement between God and you. So we proceed to go hence In the hope Some of it made some sense With our allotted amounts What gets done is what counts Was time wasted Or was it well spent Did you do as you chose life
Mother liked her white wine when she was alive. She was desperate to live, but her limit was five. Carefully I'd kiss her, send her off to bed. We always stuck to white wine, we stayed away from red. Always stick to white wine, stay away from mother liked her white wine. She had a glass or two. Almost every single night after her day was through Saucer, Chardonnay, Chablis, Pinot Grigio Just to take the edge off, just to keep the glow You got to take the edge off if you want to get Mother liked her white wine, she'd have a glass of three Sit out on the screen porch, white wine was my way we talk about her childhood, recap my career We got to my father, that's when I'd switch to beer We got to the old man, I'd always switch Mother liked her white wine, she'd have a glass of four Empty bottle and dead soldier, the marriage was the war. When we blurred the edges, when we drank the line, that's when I got nervous when the glow got hot. I always get nervous when the glow gets I still like my white wine when I'll have a glass or two When I'm down, I'll drink some whiskey It's something I should do Every now and then I'll take a drop of red When I'm with a woman that I want to take to bed When I'm with a woman that I want to take She was desperate to live, but her lemon was fine. Carefully I'd kiss her, send her off to bed. Thank God we stuck to white wine and we stayed away from mother light to white wine.